back, everybody, to Pod of Thrones. I'm Jeff. I'm Jennifer. Hey, babe, this is going to be our season two in 30 minutes recap. Don't start your timers yet, everybody. We okay. get to talk a little bit first, don't we? Uh, yes, give us a little time. Come on. <laughs> we had some good feedback from the season one. Uh, there was some amazement that we talked so fast, but it, that feedback mostly applied to me. There was too much me. You talk and very I, fast. I listened back to our episode. I'm sure you did, right, babe? Yes, of yes. course. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I just thought it needed a hell of a lot more of you. Uh, no? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a really hard time talking so fast. So I have faith in you. And here's my problem. When I take notes about the shows, they're really in-depth. Like I just started deleting stuff off of my notes because I was like, why did I write that? Yeah. You know, well, and then, but I'm afraid it's because I'm afraid I'm going to forget the context if I just put a short, quick little, this is what happened, you know. Um, well, I, I know what that feels like. And it's, uh, I did, but I did super detailed notes the first time around when we recapped everything in yeah, the long so you form learned. way. Um, yeah, well, you I, had a learning I don't know experience. if I learned. This is my learning experience. Because I still feel like I took a little too many n- notes, but with talking really fast, we can get through it. But I did skip over things that just weren't super duper Of course, duper right. And, and that's what I'm learning right now. Yeah. Uh, but that does raise a question. This is something I wanted to talk to you about. And hopefully Ooh. we can get some, some listeners to chime in as well. Uh, and if you don't know how to chime in, you can find us at thekidfreeweekend.com. Pod of Thrones still does not have its own dedicated URL, but there's a link there to podofthrones.libsyn.com. And I'll put that in the show notes as well. Um or the kid free weekend at gmail.com or the kid free weekend on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And finally at kid free weekend on Twitter. So let us know what you think of this. We're going to be recapping six seasons and we promised the seasons in 30 minutes, but we've, we've done the long form recaps for seasons one through five. That's how we started this show a year ago. <clears throat> right, right. What should we do about season six? Should we do, because the long form recap wasn't just. We have to continue. It's our tradition. Tradition. (laughs) Well, our long form recap wasn't just episode by episode. It was sort of by character or location, sort of general plot I didn't like that. I mean, I liked it. I liked it, but I didn't like it because I felt like I wanted to talk about other things that were going on during those times. You could help me organize it better. Oh, we fight. (laughs) No, we (laughs) <laughs> we don't fight about Game of Thrones recapping, uh, but should we do that this time around, or should we do season six in 30 minutes this time around and do the long form later on after season seven? I feel I like we, know, should, we should have both on That's just too much for me to handle right now. now. I got some shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to talk about your shit that's going on? <laughs> I, mean, I, get look, I, I wasn't going to bring it up. You brought it up. I know. I know. Well, because I might have to go soon. <laughs> Well, the, the joy of recording this digitally is that I can pause it and we don't lose anything. So right, right. You can scamper off anytime you need to. I'm but, preoccupied. I'm just saying I'm pre- a little preoccupied right now. <laughs> but I feel like it's the perfect kind of preoccupation for what we're going to do tonight because we we can pause between episodes. This is our okay, episode well, by people, episode. People will have to tell us if they hear the pauses. So I'm going in for a colonoscopy and an os- endoscopy tomorrow. Ooh. So I'm on the I'm on the prep stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you had to drink something called soup prep. Soup prep. Yeah. Soup. It wasn't soup. Hmm. That's too bad because soup would be good. I gagged. Oh. Well, it's really not that bad, but then it is. You know, you're like at first you're like, this, what? People are just crazy. I can get this down, but then after you drink more and more of it, you start to just go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How much did you have to drink of this? Only uh, only sixteen ounces so far. It doesn't sound that bad. Like no, that's it's like this one cup. big glass. It's this, this big, it's a big fat glass. Okay, a little, a little bit tall. It's like a it's like a medium Coke at McDonald's. Yeah, or may, I think maybe I think maybe red solo cups are twelve ounces. So there you go, a little more than a red solo cup. Yeah. And what does it taste like? <laughs> salt. Salt. Salt mixed with um. Like a, I think one of those squirt, water squirter things, you know, the water Mio's. Oh, well, salt me, water me, and, Mio is good. But not as good as that. Mio water flavor? Oh, okay. I don't but know. Salty. Some kind of syrupy, disgusting medicine. Syrupy? It was thick? 
it feels thick. Yeah. It doesn't look thick. It looks a little bit th- thick, but because <laughs> it starts out as syrup, like you mix it with water. Right. So it's a little okay. bit thick, but oh my god! And what flavored it does, like flavored like salt. It is salt. I think it's Epsom salt. Oh. I don't know. It's some kind of weird solution, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Is it like a fine brine? Can we like marinate chicken in it or? Uh, uh you could, <laughs> sure. I make for a. Maybe fun. they have an orange flavor. Should we we could a, do like an orange chicken. Oh, that'd be amazing! Yeah, mm. squirt some orange meal in there, and then we can all shit all night long. <laughs> so that's what you'll be doing tonight. Shitting all night Shitting long. Shitting all night long. It's not really shit though. <laughs> it's just water. Well, At this point, I mean, the first part was shit. Now it's just water. Well, that sounds very productive. Like, you should go out in the backyard and... Who <laughs> 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 guess? We are conserving water still. Yeah, right. I mean, California, I mean, we're sort of clear of the drought, but it's going to come back. I don't think you know, we're clear of the Save drought. the water while you can. Yeah. <laughs> and all that water has evaporated already. Just go out there and make like a skunk and just spray. That's disgusting. No? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, ugh. I certainly didn't mean to disgust you, dear. I'm disgusted by myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> so the question is, how do we recap season six this time around? Should we do the long form recap, which means we'll really have to grind out some podcasts before season seven starts? Or do we do season six in 30 minutes and hopefully someday in the universe we get around to a long form season six? Right, I guess six. it depends on how much people like to listen to us. Right. This is a test. Yes. And how many of you just turned off the podcast because I suggested that she go shit on the lawn? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that we'll are still with know. us, welcome back to Pod of Thrones. <laughs> uh, all right. Should, should we go ahead and get started? Because at a certain point, this becomes false advertising where they're going to see like the 45 minute podcast. Yes, in 30 yes, minutes. Let's okay. go. Let's so go. let's get this started. All right. Here All we right. go. Season two in 30 minutes. And this time around, Jennifer took notes on some of these episodes. I'm sorry so if I make she, it long. I'm sorry. She is going to be the lead. Well, I'll just, I'll just have to cut some stuff out if I need to. Okay. We're going to do this in 30 minutes. All the important stuff. Do it. Okay. Here we go. Episode one, uh, it's Joffrey's name day, and we see the hound kicking some ass, and then this guy named Sir Dauntus, who does not seem important, but he's going to be, he's a drunk idiot, and Sansa saves his life. But then Tyrion comes in, and uh, he seems like a nice guy, uh, but uh, I found it important that we see Marcella and Tommen's original actors. <laughs> one last time, maybe. Uh, this, <laughs> <laughs> we're on a five-year summer, winter's coming soon, uh, and everyone in the, t- uh, the city of King's Landing is starving, so they shut the gates on all the peasants, and that's going to cause some problems later on down the line as well. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Bran's holding court up in Winterfell, and he sees a red comet up in the sky. And he's also warging into Summer, the dog. And that's uh-huh. going to be important, too. And then we see that uh, th- there's a comet up in the sky for him. There's a comet up in the sky for Daenerys. She sees the comet, and uh, she's oh, her, her people are in really, really bad shape. Uh, but they send out riders in all directions, and Jorah Mormont is her strength. Remember that, everybody, because she uh-huh. loves him. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, the Night's Watch arrive at Craster's Keep. Craster is a piece of shit. He lives north of the wall. He's a wildling and he marries his daughters, fucks them all. And somehow he doesn't have any sons. He thinks John is as sexy as his daughters, but he seems to find that a hateful thing. Uh, <laughs> we find out that the wildlings join some dude named Mance Raider. Uh, and then we also see someone named Gilly who didn't get a name quite yet, but we know what she looks like. And he grabs her ass. Uh, Melisandre over in Dragonstone we meet Melisandre she's a red haired lady and she burns effigies of all the other gods uh, in praise of the warrior of light she calls Stannis the warrior of light uh, and he um, he's really just taking to it some idiot tries to poison her and it turns out she's immune to that kind of shit she's got some serious magic uh, meanwhile, we flip back on over to where Rob Stark is leading an army. He's having a conversation with Jamie Lannister, who they have captured. Don't forget that from season one. Uh, and then after that conversation, uh, we go back over to King's Landing and we see Shay, the whore that Tyrion may or may not be falling in love with. Uh, Cersei also talks to Baelish and he demand she demands that he find Arya Stark who is missing and he's like ah oh, you know go fuck yourself well not really but he makes fun of her a little bit he makes a joke and she uh has a knife put to his throat threatens to kill him and we find out what power really is power mm-hmm. is power uh and then uh, we also see a little boy watching all that, which I find noteworthy because that's one of Varys' spies. Varys has an army of little boys. Uh, so Rob, they capture a scout of the Lannisters. Rob Stark offers peace uh, if he can get his own kingdom and his dad's bones. 
Theon Greyjoy offers to go get ships from his dad. That seems like a good choice. Hooray! Uh, Catelyn Stark wants to go home, but instead, Rob Stark is sending her to go see Renly Baratheon. Uh, then finally, uh, the worst part ever, Joffrey asks his mom about bastards, his dad's bastards. Uh, we fast forward over to the whorehouse where Roz is training some new hookers and really taking a page out of Baelish's book. Uh, and then all of a sudden, the City Watch come in and they kill Baby Barra. And then we see the purging Aww, of the bastards. Baby lots Barra. and lots and lots and lots of bastards got killed. And then finally, we see that Gendry has joined the Night's Watch. He is on the road. Hooray! Okay, episode two, The Nightlands. Arya meets and helps Jockin. Guards are looking for Gendry, and Arya hides because she thinks they're looking for her. Varys is a merman who knows about Shay. <laughs> Cersei receives Rob's demands and tears it up. Castle Black sends a raven about Grumpkins and Snarks. I don't remember what that was about. Cersei blows it off. <laughs> oh, she called them Grumpkins and Snarks. The, the Night Watch right? sends a letter going like, hey, there's undead shit up here. We need help. And right. she laughs it off. <laughs> Ghost wants Gilly's rabbit. Sam is smitten right away. Gilly can't help but fall for him. Sam wants to save her and her baby. Yeah, she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Khaleesi and Clan are dying in the desert. Horses return with no idea. No rider, sorry. Um, Somebody's head is in a bag. That would be Rakaro. Roz is crying. Baelish is comforting her with his creepy threats. He hates bad investments, and she better be happy or else. (laughs) Tyrion denies Janice Slint's honor, um, tells him that to take a hike to be a watcher on the wall. Bronn is now commander. Gendry, keeping, uh, he's keeping Arya's secret. He knows she's a girl. He likes her in some weird way. I'm not sure what. Theon meets Yara's v- vagina. <laughs> <laughs> then, it's pretty gross. He feels he up his own sister. Then he meets his dad. His dad says, rip your, he, he rips his, clo- his clothes off and calls him whore clothes. Right. He didn't pay the iron price. Right. Theon pleads for his father to listen to his proposal. <laughs> and then Yara reveals she's his sister. Yep. Davis meets pirate Salador Son. Yep. Um, Tyrion finds out Joffrey ordered Tyrion dead. It was not Joffrey tried to kill uh, Tyrion. It was Joffrey that gave the order to kill all the babies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cersei feels like she's alone and carries a burden of ruling. Cersei blames Tyrion for the mom, for for their mom's death. Stannis and Melisandre <laughs> fuck him to give him a son. Oh, she fucks him so that she can give him a son. Uh, Craster puts a baby. Puts baby in the snow and John watches. He follows them. He, they hear chittering and baby crying and they see eye at the glowing eyes and Craster belts him. It's a fucking White Walker, yeah. All right, then episode three. Craster is fucking pissed off. He brings in John's unconscious fucking body, and then we find out as as Jor Mormont, Lord Commander, is chewing out John that he actually knows about the boys and what Craster's doing, but he's just kind of doing this for the greater good. Sam gives Gilly a thimble. It's the Aww. first act of love. He can't mm-hmm. save her right now, but he does seem to love her. Uh, Bran wakes up from a warging, and uh, I just wanted to say his eyes looked really milky for a second. We didn't know anything about what a warging was, but. When he wakes up, if you do a freeze frame, his eyes are milky. Uh, We learn as they talk about warging and magic and stuff without using the word warging. uh, Maester Lewin tells Bran that he also once tried magic, but that shit just ain't real. Uh, Then we fast forward over to the camp of Renly Baratheon. Brienne kicks the shit out of Loris uh, uh, Loris Tyrell, and then she is granted a position on the Rainbow Guard. She is now a king's guard for King Renly. Go women! And Loris is kind of a douche about it. (laughs) Uh, Theon gets a boat. It's called the Sea Bitch. And he uh, he decides that he is going to starve Winterfell instead of being a good little soldier and just raiding fishing camps like he, or fishing villages like he was told. Uh, go back to King's Landing and Shay is being kind of a moody bitch. I'm sorry, Shay. What is wrong with like her? You. I don't know. She's just a real pain in the ass. Uh, Sansa has an uncomfortable dinner with the Lannisters and then she goes back and finds out that Shay is her new handmaiden. And that is also awkward. Shay's not good at these things. No. Uh, Tyrion lays the coolest trap ever by telling Pycelle and Baelish and um, mm-hmm. Varys three different stories about where Marcel is going to go. And it turns out to be a good trap for Pycelle. Pycelle gets caught spilling the beans to Cersei. And uh, it's all about Marcella going off to Dorne, which is actually where she's really going. Uh, <clears throat> then um, there's a scene with Loras and Renly where Loris rejects Renly because he's still being a douche. But Marjorie needs a baby, so Marjorie tries to fuck Renly, and she fails, which is just too bad. Uh, <clears throat> Cersei, uh, well, this is where Cer- Cersei, uh, when she confronts Tyrion about Dorne, uh, Pycelle gets his ass arrested. We see Shaga, <laughs> the the hill tribe man, uh, come in, and they cut Pycelle's beard, and it's all kinds of awesome. Um, Theon, over in the Iron Islands, is uh, going to warn 
Rob about his dad's plan. He writes a letter. He writes a letter, but then he thinks better about it, burns it, and gets himself baptized Fucking, in salt oh, water. God, you're so stupid, Ooh, What is Dion? dead may never die. Uh, who yeah, wants to live there? I don't know. Go back with the... Dead people, I guess. Go back with the Starks, you weirdo. <laughs> um, Arya is having a hard time sleeping, and she has a nice chat with Yorin, who is such a cool guy, but then the King's Guards uh, come back, and they have more men with them this time. Ooh, Yorn yes. goes down, but he goes down fighting like a motherfucker. And then he dies in one of the worst ways we ever yeah. see in this show. It's horrible. Uh, and finally, a guy named Poliver kills someone that he thinks is Gendry because Yay. of the bull helm. Right. Uh, and then he takes Needle and keeps Needle. And that is not something that Arya is really happy about. Of course not. Episode four. Uh, there's some Lannister men. They're making a joke. It's kind of a mean gay joke. But then... They get killed by Grey Wind, so it's kind of awesome. There's a whole battle that happens off screen, which is disappointing for those of us that like big battles, but whatever. Uh, then we meet Talisa. Oh, God, Talisa. Uh-huh. Uh, she's cutting off a dude's foot. It's kind of awesome, but I just still don't like her. Well, now, uh, she could have, like, I don't know. She could have done something else. <laughs> she's got to do what she got to do. Uh, An axe, maybe? Just one job. <laughs> Uh, Marin Trant is beating Sansa in the throne room because her dad's a traitor, and Tyrion puts a stop to it because he's a decent guy. Uh, uh, then uh, Braun says that Joffrey is kind of a cunt, and he just needs sex. So we hire him some hookers, and Joffrey makes Roz beat some other whore with a staff oh, and my a whip God. and some awful things. And uh, that big thing at the end, yeah, it was, was like a, a leg of a table. Club. Um, <laughs> Then we see Baelish. He arrives at Renly's camp as sort of a diplomat, and he's making the rounds. And then uh, nothing really happens there. But we fast forward over to Karth, and we get to see uh, the the, the Karth. They want to see the Mother of Dragons. So we find (laughs) out that that is a place that they can go, that they're totally going to be safe. Then we go back to the party moving uh, that was moving north. But now Gendry and Arya have been captured, and they arrive at Harrenhal. We meet a guy called the Tickler, who really likes to torture people with rats and a bucket and some fire. Uh... (laughs) Then we go back over to Renly's cap. Uh, Baelish finds Catelyn Stark. He tells her that he has Arya, which is a lie, and he gives her Ned's bones. And she is not happy about him, but she didn't have a good cry over Ned. Uh, then we go back to Aaron Hall. The Tickler wants something called the Brotherhood. We don't know what that's all about, but he sure does love killing people with rats. Uh, then out in an open field, Stannis Baratheon meets Renly Baratheon. It does not go well. No, those brothers. And then Daenerys over in Karth meets the Thirteen. That also does not go well. Those are weird people. She does not show her dragons, and they are kind of weird people. But I would have shown the dragons. But this guy named Zaro Zoan Daxos, he saves the day, and he cuts his hand up, and that lets Daenerys into the city. Uh, <laughs> Uh, back over at Harrenhal, Jenry is about to get tickled with a rat. It's bad. But then Tywin Lannister arrives and everyone just stops doing what they're doing, which is good news for Jendry. He may be the last living bastard. Uh, we find out that uh, Arya is a girl, as it turns out, and she is going to be Tywin's new cupbearer, mm. which is quite an honor. Intriguing. Uh-huh. And uh, then we find that uh, Tyrion... I got to go back over to King's Landing for that. Tyrion figured out that Lancel is telling Cersei lots of stuff and kind of a spy for her. So he blackmails uh, Lancel into being his spy instead. And finally, Davos, the Onion Knight, smuggles Melisandre to the shore of Renly's camp, and she uh, vaginally barfs out a smoke monster. That's Stannis' baby. Baby Stannis. Baby's, little baby smokestack, as we used to call him. And it's awful and disgusting but it's weird we'll see what he does next time okay so the ghost of heron hall episode five uh starts off with rinley and cat talking about how rob will be loyal to rinley if he can remain in the north doing his thing um smoke stannis comes alive and goes and stabs (laughs) rinley in the in the tent and brianne is there and she's like no no one's ever stabbed me in the tent and i hope they never do (laughs) nobody can believe what happened and then cat and brianne are out on the run because they're gonna be really hung probably for stabbing rinley yeah um Tyrion and cersei are scheming and plotting for stannis's arrival and uh Lancel and Tyrion talk about wildfire. Right. Lancel gives them the tip that Cersei's mm-hmm. been working on that. Davos convinced Stannis to leave Melisandre at home during the Blackwater movement. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Theon gets in a scur- he gets a scurvy crew. He decides to take Winterfell instead of going to the Fishingville. I don't know. They were supposed to go take the fishermen's They were supposed to raid area. fishing villages. Right. Yeah. Um, Arya's at Harrenhal, still listening to Tywin, plan war on Rob. Tywin's question, he questions her, and um, he wants to know where she's from and what they say about Rob in the north. 
Do you remember what that is? He's he can't be killed. He's an amazing wolf, and he rides into yeah. battle on the back of a dire wolf. Right. Um, Jack and is all creepy in the corner, just kind of like she's looking for him, and he's just standing there all creepily. Offers three deaths for for her three lives that she saved. Um, and she names the tickler the first. Yep. Yeah. John and the others are camping. That's all I got for that. Tyrion sees wildfire. He gets to see all the wildfire that they've made so far. Bronn thinks it's a he thinks it's pig shit. They have seven thousand eight hundred eleven pots of it, and Tyrion says he's the boss now. Khaleesi is in Karth. Maiden, her maidens annoyed at at um, Doria. Doria. She's annoyed at the, at Doria, and she doesn't trust her. Piat Pri <laughs> is being all weird and spooky and invited her to the House of Undying. There's a freaky mask lady, and she says fire is power. Her name is Quaith, but we don't know why I know that. The story of Brienne. Oh, the story of Brienne and Caitlin. <laughs> Brienne gives herself to Caitlin. Uh, or Cat. Sorry, it kept autocorrecting again. Cat uh, vows to always feed her. Pretty much. She's like, I, I shall, you should always have a place at my table. Um, the mountain is attacking villages and Bran sends men to help. Osha is acting seductive and weird when asking about Bran's dreams. She's so weird. He talks about the sea coming over the walls and Bran is curious about the three-eyed raven. Right. Bran thought it was the mountain, but it was actually Theon. That's the ocean. Okay. John wants to kill, um, join the killing expedition. Lord Commander lets him go and Sam takes his duties. They're going to try to assassinate Mance Raider. Zara Zara, I think is his name. And Zaro, says, Zoe, and Daxos. Yeah, he says Jory is in love with Daenerys. Um, I don't know if that's true. Shows off uh, and proposes with his, like, he proposes to her in front of his, what you call it? Vault. Vault, right. <laughs> um, and then she learns that Baratheon is dead. King Baratheon is dead. Right, she didn't know that. She's su- suspicious of Jorah's intentions now, and Jorah says too much and reveals his intense admiration. Arya sees the ticker, tickler with a backwards head. But Jorah been... does talk her out of making a, a rash move. Okay. All right, back to me. Episode six. Theon shows up at Winterfell. And of course, he's let in, and Bran is fucking confused when Theon announces he's taken over Winterfell. Uh, Osha offers to serve. She wants a spear in her hand, but he doesn't trust her. Uh, Theon then executes Sir Roderick, who comes back into town, and he executes Sir Roderick badly. Uh, Corrin Halfan, the leader of the raiding party, teaches Jon Snow about wildlings and life. Uh, and um, then, meanwhile, that's happening. Baelish arrives at Harrenhal, and he briefs Tywin on the goings-on, which makes Arya very nervous. Uh, back up north, uh, the crows meet the wildlings, and they kill them all, except for Egret, who we meet. Uh, Jon offers to kill her, and then the others just kind of wander off, which makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, and, of course, they all get separated, and Jon can't kill Egret, as you probably know. Uh... Marcella floats away to Dorne. Cersei is pissed off at Tyrion for doing that, and she threatens him big time. Uh, and then there's a big riot in town, which I find especially noteworthy because Joffrey gets shit to the face. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, some poor priest or something gets his arm pulled off. That was gross. And then Sansa gets locked out of the enclosure where all of them were safe, and she winds up almost getting raped by three different men, but the hound saves her in a fit of glorious violence where guts are falling out, and it's amazing. Love the hound. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Daenerys is a little princess, says one of the uh, the spice merchant, one of the 13, and uh, she just cannot get ships from that guy. He will not help her out. It's not a good investment. Uh, then Tywin is talking to Arya. He tells a story about being a dad and how hard it can be, and Jamie was basically dyslexic, as far as we can tell. Um, and then she winds up stealing a note from his table that has some intelligence on it, and she gets found out. She gets pinched, and some dude's about to go tell on her, but she finds Jacken, and he she uses her second kill on that guy with poison dart to the neck, and that is not good for Tywin's uh, composure. He's a little scared by that. Uh, then Rob, who's a fucking idiot, flirts with Talisa over at his camp. It sucks. <laughs> uh, back over to Winterfell, Osha fucks Theon. She gets all naked and hot. And Theon's not, but she fucks him anyway. Uh, and uh, then, speaking of fucking, Egret is trying to bed Jon Snow. She fails, but she sure does tempt him. And finally, at the end of episode six, a lot of people are dead in Zarozo and Daxus's house, and Daenerys' dragons are stolen! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Episode 7, this is a big one. Uh, first of all, Theon finds that Osha's missing, and she had killed a dude on her way out, too. And now there's a hunt to find Bran, because they are all on the road. Uh, Bran, we see Bran and company on the road, and they stop at a farm, at least they seem to, where Bran had once sent a couple of little orphan boys to work. Uh-oh. Uh, we go up north. John and Gret are snuggling, and he's got a bone in her back. <laughs> and bone. we're pretty sure he's a virgin. <laughs> Uh, we go over to Heron Hall, Tywin. Uh, this is we see the first mention of the Brotherhood without banners when he talks to his guys. He lets Arya eat his mutton. Arya considers killing him while his back is turned because she's got a knife in her hand while eating that mutton. Uh, we learn a little bit about Heron Hall. The dragons destroyed it, and the Aegon the Conqueror had sisters who also rode dragons, conquering with him, mm-hmm. which Arya thought was pretty cool. Tywin thinks Arya is a lot like Cersei, and then he catches her on a my lord, my lord kind of thing and figures that she's probably not as pauperish as she pretends to be. Uh, Sansa meets Hound in a hallway, and she says he was very brave saving her, and he just says, Fuck it, I enjoy killing people. Uh, Zaro's own Daxo says he has no idea what happened to Danny's dragons, but he's going to help her. Go back up north. Uh, Agret says that uh, Mance Raider was once a crow like John, a member of the Night's Watch, but now they're free. She wants to make John free and teach him how to do it. And he says, I know people. how to do it. And she says, You know nothing, Jon Snow. Yes. Just uh, this, like that. <laughs> this dude's Sir Olton, I think he is. Jamie's, Jamie Lannister's cousin. He's a Lannister. He was the spy that got caught or whatever, and he's been sending messages back and forth. Uh, he gets put in a pen with Jamie, and then Talisa, oh, I don't like her. She needs supplies, and she's going to go uh, with Rob to their next stop where they got to talk to some people. She's going to get medical medical mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, we see a little brief bit with Theon, which is not that important, except that I love that he's telling someone, I think it might have been Lewin, that he is afraid of being treated like a fool and a eunuch by his own people. Yes. That Just was kind of a funny interesting. little foreshadowing there. Jorah and Daenerys talk about the whole situation at hand. He wants to help her uh, do a lot of different stuff and maybe even get the hell out of there, but she just wants her dragons back. Go back up north. Agret once again tries to seduce John. says her pussy does not have teeth weird mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, uh, then she makes a break for a while he's all confused and john gets completely lost and then uh you know captured uh sansa wakes up bleeding uh oh, her shay red tries flower. <laughs> shay, her red flower shay tries to help uh you know get rid of the evidence because we don't want joffrey finding out about that or cersei uh but the hound is suddenly there and he finds out and some other lady finds out how too, embarrassing or cersei then talks to sansa about Joffrey's birth and how uh, Robert would go hunting. And, you know, she says, love no one but your children. She doesn't think that Sansa should love Joffrey either. Uh, Jamie kills his cousin and the younger car Stark and makes a break for it. He's gone. He's out of his jail cell. Uh, Quaith has a little conversation with Jorah. She kind of doubts him, but she tells him that the dragon thief is currently with Daenerys. We zip over to where Daenerys is and Karsh. She's with the entire 13. Turns out Pyat Pri has the dragons, and Zaro has now been elected king of Karth by killing everybody else that's part of the 13. Lots of Pyat Pri's took part in that uh <clears throat> jamie lannister gets caught again lord karstark is angry he wants to smash uh but they stop him from smashing just yet because rob's not there uh Tyrion and cersei discuss the stannis fleet and how awful joffrey is uh catelyn stark has a little conversation with jamie and gets brienne's sword we don't know what happens at that point and finally theon shows winterfell two dead burned boys mm. charred charbroil Episode eight, um, we're in Winterfell and Yara arrives at, oh, Yara arrives at Winterfell. <laughs> Theon doesn't understand why she's there and Yara thinks he's a dumb cunt for killing the Stark boys. Egret brings John to Man's Raider's <laughs> camp to meet him and Corn is there. Rob and Talisa take a stroll. Kingslayer has escaped. Rob's pissed off at Cat, and so is the beard guy that had the son that died. Lord Karstark. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Rob sends more men to find him. Jamie and Brienne are on the road. Tywin uh, is in count- council with Kevin Lannister, and Arya's still eavesdropping. Tywin's worried because Rob doesn't know enough to be afraid, and leaving, uh, they're going to leave at nightfall, and Arya can stay at Harrenhal. Lucky girl. Yeah. Um, there's the gross guy that was in the cage with Jockin, who's going to fuck her with the needle. Rorge. Right. Hot Pie and Gendry are hanging out. Arya wants Jackin to kill Tywin before he leaves, but she can't find him. Uh, John and Cor prete- Corn pretend corn i call him corn sorry pretend that they are fighting so that john john can get on the good side of the free people Tyrion researches sieges on westeros and and thinks that stannis will end at mudgate the merman reports that Tyrion. <laughs> that's Varys. <laughs> reports to Tyrion with brawn in command that there's less thievery going on sam and two guys are shoveling snow i don't know why that's because brawn had all the thieves killed 
Right. The gnome thieves. Yeah. Uh, and then they find Dragonglass. I think they're looking for coal. They find a horn and Dragonglass. They're just digging around. Jockin finds Arya. He wants a name, another name. Arya names him. She begs her to unname him, and she says that he lacks, he says she lacks honor. Uh, then Cersei has Tyrion's whore. She says Joffrey, if Joffrey is killed in battle, that she, she's going to torture her. Uh, it turns out to be Roz, and I bet now that she's regretting leaving Winterfell. Made a note about that. Yep. Rob sends Ramsay to Winterfell. Talisa comes to fuck. Well, Rob doesn't send it. We don't know who Ramsay is, but it's the bastard from the Dreadfort. We hear Wait, that much, right. at least. Yeah. Um, Talisa comes into his tent to fuck and tells a story of a brother being saved, and Rob falls for her hard. Then they fuck again. I don't know. <laughs> well, they just fuck. Uh, they just, just fuck. the one time. Arya, Hot Pie, and Jinri are watching for Jacken to kill the guards, and then they're free. Yay! Well, yeah, they never see it happen, but they can just walk out of Harrenhal. That was, Stan- that was the deal. Stannis uh, to be in the King's Landing in a day. We hear Davos's onion story. Joffrey is going to give Stannis a red smile. Varys <laughs> tells Tyrion of, about Daenerys. Right. Daenerys is still looking for her dragons. She wants Jorah to take her to them. Um, back in Winterfell, Bran, Hodor, and uh, Osha, and Rickon are back. Bran overheard about the boys. Right. They're actually still in the city. And so those boys are definitely not Bran and Rickon, which is good news. Yes. And that was the end. All right, back to me, episode nine. Stannis is sailing in. This is the fucking battle of Blackwater Bay. Uh, we see preparations. Pycelle gives a vial of nightshade to Cersei. Bad poison. Kill you. Uh, and we see some men singing the reigns of Castamere. Braun singing as one of them. We found out recently he used to be a singer in real life. Uh, Braun and Hound nearly get into a fight, but they don't. And then there's bells. That cuts it all off. We hear Varys talk about cutting. Someday he's going to tell the tale of his cutting, which at least makes him confident that they're all going to get through this. Uh, <clears throat> Joffrey feels very confident himself and he makes sansa kiss heart eater his new sword gross uh Tyrion has a plan we don't know what that plan is but there's no boats in the water and then there's one boat in the water and it's leaking some green stuff and it gets passed into the ships sansa's ships and kaboom the biggest fucking green explosion you have ever seen in your entire life and ever will see awesome uh stannis sees all that shit happen. He's like, let's do some more because they don't have more of that green explody shit. And he was right. Uh, Cersei in the, in the, uh, make or hold fast is getting drunk with all the women around. Uh, mm-hmm. and she makes Sansa drink with her. It's kind of funny. Uh, <clears throat> Joffrey starts to panic when he sees the numbers of people coming from, uh, Stannis's little, There's uh, too many. <laughs> little, little boats where they're all coming on shore. And then the fighting starts. Uh, one of the noteworthy things there in the beginning is that Lancel gets shot with an arrow while the hound is kicking ass and some of the most amazing violence that you've ever seen on TV. Oh my God, people are getting cut like in diagonal half. Uh, Cersei, uh, back in the holdfast, uh, she sniffs out Shay and knows that Shay is not the person that she says she is. But we don't get the full story on that because Lancel shows up and then Cersei orders Lancel to go get Joffrey out of the battle which is so weird. I don't know why she would do that. Uh, then the hound still continuing to kick ass. He's a guy on fire running at him and he gets some serious like PTSD kind of flashback thing going on and just freezes up on the battlefield and gets the hell out of there. Fuck the King. That's he good. Desserts. Uh, Joffrey then also runs away. Tyrion winds up rallying the troops and they get a good attack in on the people that are fighting at the gate and trying to pound down the door. It, it's, it's good for a little while. Uh, <laughs> Sansa sings a song with the ladies. I wrote that down. Um, and then <laughs> she gets the hell out of the hold fast because they think the battle's going very badly. Uh, she's going to go hide in her room and the hound is there. He offers to help her get out of the city. I wish to fucking Christ she would have said yes. I bet she, she listened to Shay. Too. Shay told her that Stannis would come save her. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Tyrion, meanwhile, continuing to lead an attack. They're kicking some ass. Tyrion cuts a dude's leg off. Uh, but then... Mandon Moore, one of the supposedly good guys, not good guys, but one of Joffrey's guys, one of the Kingsguard, he attacks Tyrion, slices his face up, and then Podrick spears him through the back of the fucking head, and it's amazing. Uh, But Tyrion's out. He's down for the count. Uh, Cersei is just about to poison her little boy, Tommen, and maybe herself. Take them out before they could get killed and raped and killed. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then Lancel and Tywin swerp, swerp, swoop in. They win the battle. They they zoom into the Red Keep and they save the day and they save Cersei from poisoning herself. Bummer. We won. We won. Here we go. Episode ten. Valor Magulis. (laughs) Tyrion uh, is completely out of it. Tywin rides into the Red Keep on a horse. He gets the hand pin from Joffrey. Baelish gets Hall. Loras gets anything he wants. And Marjorie needs a royal penis. 
So that's what <laughs> he, she gets. Sansa looks worried and happy at the same time. Peter wants to take her home, and Sansa's still pretending to love Joffrey. Varys wants the goods on Baelish, and Roz wants to help. Well, she doesn't at first, but he recruits her. Right. Starts to recruit her. Jamie's tempting Brienne. She has, um, they find the women hanging and she has to bury them for some reason. Um, then she kills all the Stark's bannermen on the road. Mm-hmm. Rob is breaking his oath for Talisa. Stannis is back in his cave and Red Witch gets choked by him because he's all upset that he killed his brother all of a sudden. Yeah. Now he feels some regret. Right. She shows him the fire and I see nothing. <laughs> Theon is surrounded and he's regretting his decision. Then Lewin tells him to take the black. Yes, take the black. Run. Join the Night's Watch. Then Theon gives this great speech and gets whacked in the head at the end. And Ma- Maester Lewin gets stabbed and by the crew. The crew is pretty much going to just give him away. Yeah, they just want to go home. Varys reveals to Tyrion that Cersei tried to kill him. Yep. Hold Varys it. says that they will never forget what Tyrion did during the battle and for the hold. Rob and Talisa forever. They get married. <laughs> Khaleesi goes to the house and dying and disappears into the oubliette. I don't know if that's the right word. Faceless man wants Arya to come learn so she can offer her names to the Red God. Jockin. That's what I was yeah, going to say. Jockin he, he gets her he a coin. Her list. Tells her to use it uh, so she can Valor Magulus her way to Bravos. <laughs> Winterfell is all ruined and Meister's dying. Osha is going to protect them on their way to the wall. Mm-hmm. Daenerys chooses door number three she sees uh like the red keep is all destroyed i think by dragons maybe the dragons are calling her so she leaves and she now is at the wall and she um goes out into the snow and all of a sudden she's in drogo's tent with the baby yep right and she hears the dragons calling again so she leaves she Mm -hmm. leaves them there in her um then the blue-lipped guy piet pre is that his name yes he is putting Daenerys in chains and she tells the dragons Dracarys and burns him. Which also melts the chains. Right. So um, Egret is che- teasing John. Corrin and John fight. He kills Corrin. Corrin Korn. and him. Um, which makes and him then a I think wildling, Egret falls I guess. in love. Uh, oh, Zara Zara. I know that's not his right name. He has boobies and Danny opens the empty vault. <laughs> <laughs> she locks Titty Man and, the, and her traitor and maiden Doria. inside. <laughs> Doria. They loot the city. Um, and Sam can't stop talking about Gilly, and we end the season with zombies. The horn blows three times. Sam sees a White Walker and a lot of zombies, and for some reason, they do not kill him or eat him. And that's how the season ends. Sam's staring at a grotesque undead horse and a wrink- wrinkly old White Walker. And a bunch of zombies. They're, and now they're going to the wall. They're going somewhere. They're going towards the wall. We, but yet... That's not where they wind up going. I know. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Where did was. they go? They seem very confused. I don't very know where they went. But we still, to this day, six seasons in, we don't know what the deal is with the wall and its magic and these White Walkers because why wouldn't they have stormed? They they can't really be stopped. Like the the White Walkers themselves can only be hurt by either dragon glass, which not many people have, or Valyrian steel, which even fewer people have. The zombies keep getting up. You can kill them and then what if, you, the, the what if they're climbing the wall again? and they fall off from the top and all everything breaks in their body the hand can move independently i mean you remember that i mean it was going after but everything Mormont. breaks it's broken i don't know if that matters so much but hmm. they don't have they could just slide down the wall they don't have to jump from the top i just don't we don't know what the deal is there but it seems like they might be heading towards the wall because they're going where the the where the Night's Watch folks came from. But then we have a whole bunch more seasons and they don't show anything. They still have yet to make it to the wall. It's really, really weird. But I'm sure this will be the time. This will be the season. This is it. They're going to make it to that wall. Maybe they were on the way to Man's Raider's camp. They well, were they just a weird perspective. They it looked went, like they were going towards the wall. They never went there either, though. They never went to Man's Raider's Man's Raider's camp makes it to the wall. And the, Knight, uh, the Night's King guy or any of the White Walkers, they never do. It's kind of weird. They're very... What about at the end? Directionless. What? End of what? The end of the seasons. All of them. When when they're looking at them on the... And they leave on the ship. They're looking at them out on the shore. And all of the White Walkers are turning everybody into zombies. Yeah, that was way north of the wall. That was at Hardhome. Oh, that's not Man's Raider's camp? No. No, well, Man's Raider was dead by then. Well, the I wi- know, the but he's still... gone home. No, it's a different place. Hmm. I think. 
it's not the same place where John meets Mance Raider the first time, which will happen at the beginning of season three. Nope, not the same stuff. So I just, I don't know. I, I hope someday we learn what the deal is and why the Night's King and, and his minions have been right. wandering so long. I hope just, it doesn't just fizzle. Yeah. This doesn't seem like the kind of show that would let things fizzle. Hmm. I think I think they'll tie up the loose ends. They better because they're fucking shorting us on episodes. So mm-hmm. they better have the loose ends tied up. Yep. But that's for another day. This was episode or season two <laughs> in 30 minutes. I think we just barely made the mark. I might have to cut a couple little things, but um, but we did it. Yay, babe. High five. Air high five. So season three, I think we need just a little bit more, babe. And we're going to go kick its ass. So listen for that coming this was soon. Our, this was my trial note-taking season. Yes, this was her first note-taking experience. I no, think she it's did. not my first note-taking. I take notes, just not very <laughs> thorough, because I know you're, like, really thorough. Okay. <laughs> well, good job anyway, babe. Thanks for doing that with us. Thank you. And by us, I mean our listening because... audience and me. Because we need more of you. You're awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, we're going to go now. Jennifer's going to go finish drinking her salt water brine or whatever the fuck it is. And um, maybe, yum, yum, yum. maybe we'll give you guys an update on that next time. <laughs> <laughs> so until then, I'm Jeff. I'm Jennifer. Get that poop on, babe. Ugh. Go water the grass. You're so gross. Get out there. Get outside. <laughs>